Hey, Gary Baker here with 30minutemarketing.net. In today's quick video, by the time we get to the end, you're gonna fully understand how to set and resize an image inside of a header block and make it fit inside your browser the way you want it to appear. Of course, this is a Groove Pages tutorial, and if you don't know about Groove Pages and Groove Funnels, go ahead, click the link in the description where you can get your free account to set up three free sites inside of Groove Funnels using Groove Pages. And with that, let's jump straight into this. So we'll go ahead and we'll go into Groove Pages and we'll set the stage for exactly what I'm talking about as far as the header. So if you look at this site right here and you see the guy standing there pointing at the header, that's sort of what we're gonna be working with today. And of course, we're gonna create a new site. We're gonna go ahead and just go from a blank template and I'm gonna show you this so you understand the basic building blocks when you're starting from scratch. So it's gonna be empty when you first open it. So of course, it's a block-based builder, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna to go to wireframes and blocks. There's links in the description to other videos where I explain the basic building blocks of this builder. If you don't know that, go ahead, check that out, and then come back to this video. We'll go ahead and start with an empty block or an empty container, and we'll just drag that over here to get started. And now you have an empty container, so you need to add something in there. For example, say you want a logo. And you have an image that you want to use for your logo all you do is you come down and you find the image you'll drop that image in right there and of course you would need to select an image inside of that container just simply clicking it going over to configure choosing an image that'll open up the images that you have available to you of course if you want to upload an image which we'll do right here we'll go ahead and upload an image go ahead and upload my 30 minute marketing logo Click the up arrow to upload it. There you go, it's uploaded. Go ahead and select that image. Click update. You can see that came in at the full size of the image. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and you can change the size of that image right here. Then you can just simply bring that up right here via pixels. We'll go ahead and bring it up to about 200 pixels. That looks good. So now we've added an image inside of our container. Of course, I'm looking at the breadcrumbs down in the left corner, container, block, body. Then if you want to center that, you would click out into the container. Again, check the breadcrumbs down here, container, block. We've opened it up. You can see the green border around the container. You can go ahead and select layout. You can center that right there in the primary in the center of the block and then we'll go ahead and we'll publish that and take a look at that so we can see exactly where we're at we'll save it content is saved we'll go ahead and publish that we'll host this here on groovepages.com go ahead and publish that content is saved now we can open up that page we'll go ahead and open that up in a new tab and now you can see we have a nice header image in that block the header block but let's say we want to change that background color or add an image behind there what we can do is we can simply go back now and we can again go inside of the container check the green border check the breadcrumbs body block container and at this point we want to say we want to add an image of course you could change the color as well but we're going to go with an image and we're going to go here to background we're going to choose an image if you wanted to change the color that option is right there we're going to go ahead and choose an image and in this case instead of uploading our own image we're going to go to the free stock photos option and we're just going to look for a nice landscape then of course just grab something that you like i think this will work right here so we'll click that you'll see it's uploading and after it uploads here you can see the dimensions and all that information but we'll go ahead and we'll select that that'll bring that image in there and you can see it changed the color but we can't see the full image so we want to resize that of course we noticed that when we brought it in it's 4442 by 200 or 2961 pixels so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring that image down in size and we're going to do that right here inside of the image library by bringing this down to about 1080 and that way it's not as huge and it will fit off the screen but 1080 is a nice image size for just about every screen and that aspect ratio will fit right there so we'll update those dimensions content has been saved we'll go ahead and we'll select that again so now we've changed those dimensions but as you can see you still can't see it because we need to change this container size 
So at this point we have our background set inside of our container and at this point what we want to do is we want to center that cover inside of the container. So we click cover twice and then we center that. You can see it changed in the background there. Now you can see the peaks of the mountain in that image. What has happened is, is that it's centered that inside of the container as a cover. Now what you can do is you can go in and you can start working with the sizing. And here's where you would set the sizing of that container. For example, if you wanted it 800 pixels, you would go ahead and you would set 800 pixels. Then you would go down here and you would change the height. And then you could play with the height as far as pixels. Now you can see that it's starting to change and you can see the picture size. You can see that this image now has changed and the sizing of that inside of the container has changed as well. You can go back and then you can see that you can start playing with this, but what you've done is you've changed the background of the container and you change the image size. And then this brings up a very good point about the breadcrumb trails and making sure that you're working inside of the element or the block component that you really want to be working in. And that's the reason that I wanted to show you it this way before I go back and show you the way to set the background for the actual block versus the container because you might run into this exact same issue. As you can see now I've made the logo image 800 pixels to match the container. Again look at this green border right here and you can see that we're, the image is inside of the container that we're working with and we added the background image to the container. So it is contained in the container. What we want to do is we want to set the background image to the block and then leave the container for the logo. So we're gonna back this out so you can see exactly how this works. So now we're gonna go back to our image. Now we're clicked on the image and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring that back down to 200 that we had it at originally. Then we're gonna go back to the container and go to the background and we're going to delete that image out of the background. Now at this point, what we want to do is you can see this green border and you see this white space here going across here over to the edge of the block. So you see the dark blue border here and the container border. So now we want to go and we want to make sure that we're working inside of the block when we set. Now you can see the green border around the entire block. Now we want to make sure that we set the background inside of the block versus the container. Now we want to select that image. Again, those dimensions have been updated to 1080. We'll go ahead and we'll select that. Now you can see that that image is contained inside of the block, not the container, which is right there. Again, check your breadcrumbs, container, block. And then the image here, which is our logo, is inside the container. Again, check the breadcrumbs. And if this doesn't make sense, stop it here, the video, rewind it, Make sure that you understand exactly where we are and following along. The reason I put it inside of the container is so you can see that there is a difference between the container and the block, but you can add backgrounds to a container. But here we're focused on adding background into the block so it covers the entire width of the page. So again, we'll go back to container. You can see there the green outline here is inside the container. Now we'll go back to the block where we're editing the background of the block. Again, we'll open that up here. You can see what we want to do is we want to make that a cover image. You can see right there that it centered it. Again, we click here and we center it. Now you can see that it's centered the image as a cover so it'll always stay inside the center of the block. We aligned it in the center so the image will always stay inside of the center of the block no matter what happens when you resize on the page. But now we need to go back and adjust our logo which is our image. Again, image is inside of the container. So we'll go back and we'll set our sizing of our logo. As you can see here, we're not quite getting it right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete that image and then we're gonna start over with the image. As you can see, when you do this, you can see what happened now is the container has an empty container has an empty space where the image is going to be inside of the block. 
So if you go back to the block, you can see the full block and you can see the empty container, which is inside of the block. So if you click on that container, now you can see that's empty. We'll go ahead, we'll grab our element again. And our element is going to be an image that we're going to drag in there. Then we're gonna set that image to our logo. And of course you could change the dimensions here or we'll go ahead and we'll just select it. Click update. Now we'll go back into design. We'll go into sizing. Here we'll go ahead and we'll set that to pixels. We'll adjust the height to get it where we want it. We'll adjust the height as well. We'll go ahead and make that 150. We'll leave that at about 300 right there. Looks good. So we've adjusted the width and the height. And now if we have that image and we want to adjust that inside of the container, we could go here to the container and then you have layout here. Again, you could adjust it horizontally or vertically. Horizontally, we are vertically, we adjusted it there. If we want to adjust it horizontally, you could center it right there. As you can see, now it's in the center of the container. Again, the container being this green border right here, check your breadcrumbs. And now we centered it. Or if you don't like that, you can go ahead and you can bring it back up to the top. And of course, this little green dot here shows the fact that this has been adjusted. So if you were to close it, you can see that the layout and the sizing has been adjusted. Everything else is at its defaults. But what we have done at this point, if we go ahead and save that before we lose our settings, that content is saved. Now we can close out that container. Now you can see that what we've done here is we've created a header with an image on the background. So inside of that block that we created, we have a container. Again, you can see it right here in the breadcrumbs. So inside of that block, if you scroll your mouse over, you'll see the green highlighted area. Now we have that container. And inside of that container, we added this image. So again, check the breadcrumbs, image, and we'll work backwards. Image, container, block. And at this point, you've added a block, which is your header image. And we've added a background image to that block. We've added a container in that image and we added our logo. So now we have a nice header image and a logo on our page. We'll go ahead and we'll publish that. You can see the content was saved. We'll go back over to our page that we opened in a new tab where we're looking at our demo with our groovepages.com hosting. We'll go ahead and we'll refresh that. And then when that loads up, you can see we have a nice image there in our side of our header. We resized it, we centered it so you can see the nice snow peaks. We added our image to our container so we have our logo as well. So everything looks good and we've got the basic building blocks and we're starting to build a web page. All right, a quick review of what we did. We have the block, we have the container, and we have the image. Again, like I said, if all this didn't make sense, rewind it, watch it again, find the places where you might have got lost. Make sure that you're focused on the green box for the image, the green box for the container, the green box for the block, and then when you're editing, make sure that you're inside of the element that you want to edit. For example, the block down here in the breadcrumbs, and then you're adding the background to the block, not the container, or you'll run into the issues that I showed you. That's why I showed you sort of in that order where I added it to the container, then I took it out of the container and moved it back into the block, then went back into the image inside of the container, re-added the image and edited the size of that image so you could see it step by step by step. And then you're able to retrace your steps to make sure that you're working in the correct section. Because when you get into the expert mode and you start dealing with these design options here, it's easy to get lost because they are gonna look the same. You just need to recenter yourself, use the breadcrumbs, use the green border box around the element that you're working in and you'll figure it out very, very quickly. If this video is helpful, give me a thumbs up. 30 minute timer here on the end screen, click that, subscribe to the channel. For more awesome content, just like the videos you see here on the end screen, click those, keep watching, learn more about Groove Pages, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.